Hello, this is Yumangmi Craft, and today I'm going to be showing off my self-defense home. Now, this was created to serve as a defense mechanism if you're being chased by mobs. First of all, I'll be showing off what it does and how to use it, and secondly, I'll be showing how I created all the redstone behind it. Um, okay, so let's get started. By here, as you walk through, there are two trip wires. Now, these trip wires are used to detect whether the playing is run is whether the player, sorry, is running through or walking through. Okay, so if I walk through, nothing happens. And if I would like to get in, I simply open the door up with that. Walk through. I can close it behind me. I'm in you now. All our shoes, retro lamps, and this alarm system. Now I'll come on to that in a minute. Let me just show you what happens if you decide to run through you instead of walk. Okay, yeah, um, it was a little bit of a problem with the lag from the video. I'm just tweak some things. This should be okay. There we go. My apologies, it was a problem with the uh, lag from the video. Let me just turn my sound down. So, don't you the alarm is not online. Mm. Okay, so me running through uh, enabled alarm mode, which means these lights will flash, sound will play. Uh, and also, as you run through, the doors will quickly open to let you through and close to stop any mobs behind you. And it also will say we are under attack. Now, as you see by there, there is a kind of a problem with the leather. Um, it's an easy to fix, but I put on the leather there for aesthetic purposes. Now, this opens up by here. And you have uh, a chest full of amazing loot to kill off any mob mobs that are following you. So, here are the alarm systems. If I press disarm alarm, it'll disarm the alarm. That will fill up into a wall, and the lava will disappear. If I press arm um, alarm, as we'll see, we are under attack, and pop up a lava pit right below. So that's only there when we need it. Um, obviously, you can put loads of other things in this room if you need to. It doesn't need to be empty. Um, but yeah, okay, so that concludes the explanation and show off of my contraption. Um, from here on out, I will be showing how I did all the redstone and stuff like that. Alrighty then. Now, the most complicated part of this was trying to detect whether the player was running or not. Okay, so here I've got two pulse... Um, generators or pulse shorteners um, so basically when you run through the pulse will be shortened by here um, and these have different timings oh sorry these are on the same timings my apologies so these shorten the pulse so it's a very short and I believe one of the shortest pulses you can have is very short pulse that comes out and how it works is if you run through here that gets turned off and then if you walk in, by the time you get to here, so that turns off, and by the time you get to here and trigger that, you've already turned on this one, which stops it anyway. So that's how that works. Um, and if you're running, it goes from here, and you're so fast, enough time for this one to turn back on, and then you go, and it triggers this by here. This is just a simple... Pulse limiter again, I believe, by here. Um, or pulse extender, I think. I'm not too sure. Um, I made this uh, quite a while back, and I've already now decided to do a video on it. So I do apologize if it's not perfect. Um, so, yeah, so that's how it detects whether you're running or not. Let's get on to the door mechanism. Now, the door mechanism is simply three pistons on this side, three pistons on that side. And then this, um, sorry, the switch over the side. Now. So the switch comes here and from both sides and there's some funny latch, I don't know what clue what it's called basically uh, let me show you what it does 
Right. So if I, I keep an eye on that torch, if I turn this one on, the torch goes off. If I turn it back on, it goes on again, which is normal. But if I turn this one off, and turn it, turn this one, turn it flip it again, then it'll light up. So you can control the door from both sides, that means. Which is a very, very nice feature. Um, I apologize, I forgot what the gate is called, but it's very useful in doors and other things like that. Now, the chest area is done with pistons. It's done with a piston push and another piston. Um, all hooked up and it's quite nicely done. I'm quite, uh, proud. Well, proud of the entire device, but, yeah. So that's basically what happens. So those get pushed down, the pistons underneath get extended and then it fills in the wall. And also there's pistons in the ground that push up as well. So that's how all of that works. Um, now as far as activating slash disarming the alarm system goes, if it run, if you run a pulse will come to here, flip this RS no latch, or if you arm alarm, it'll flip the RS no latch, sorry, if you arm alarm down this one, it'll flip the RS no latch again, so both the running and that will turn it on. Disarm alarm is from here, and I will disarm it. If it is, al if it is alarmed, then this will go out, which allow this to control the lights and the sound. Whilst also, if this goes out, then the pulse will not come here and I'll trigger all that nonsense. Also, if it is in alarm mode, um, a pulse will come along here, activate our um, command block by there, which says we are under attack. And also, it will cease giving power to our lovely pistons above here, which will allow you to fall into your fall to your death into the lava pit. <coughs> so, um, yeah, that's all that explained. Um, I made this a while ago when I first created it. I didn't decide to do a video on it because I thought it might be a bit boring. But now I decided to do a video on it. So. If you did like this, please comment, rate, subscribe, and share the video. Um, yeah, always hit the subscribe button if you're not already, and you like um, things like this. I do a lot of redstone creations. As you see, there's a lot um, around me right here. Um, so yeah, I uh, hope you like this video. I do apologize, I haven't uploaded many in a while. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. And goodbye.